Health Collaborative says there are at least 58 patients in Southwest Ohio hospitalized with COVID. And Hamilton County Public Health says that more than a dozen are in the ICU right now. Doctors are looking at hospitalizations as indicators for what's happening in the community. Our Morella Porter shows us what's behind the rise in cases and shares advice from health experts. Cases are nowhere near where they were at COVID's peak, but considering how low they got this summer, Dr. Fagan says what they're seeing now is an increase. We, during the summer, a couple of weeks, we didn't have anybody in some of the hospitals. We got down to as low as 15 or 20, and now we're gradually increasing. We're seeing about a 15% increase over last week in the number of hospitalizations down here in Southwest Ohio, and about a 7% increase across the state. But if you look back 60 days, um, you know, we're 170 percent increase in southwest Ohio and 130 percent increase across the state. That likely paints only part of the picture without community testing or reporting like before. Dr. Stephen Blatt with TriHealth says even the few COVID cases they've had in their ICU is unusual. We haven't seen ICU patients in a, probably a couple of months, so the number of cases is slowly increasing. Nothing dramatic, but we're starting to see a little bump. Dr. Fagan says a change in COVID variants may be part of the reason we are seeing more cases. But the biggest probable reason is just this waning immunity from prior infection and from vaccine. Dr. Fagan says the CDC is predicting a gradual increase in COVID cases in the next four weeks. Health experts are keeping an eye on a new variant. The Ohio Health Department said one case was detected in the state last week. Some recent studies have shown that it's not, doesn't seem to cause as, as bad of illness, which is good. Dr. Blatt says we don't know much about how fast this new variant is spreading or what immunity will be like. But he and Dr. Fagans are confident in the new vaccine coming out this month. Its most important effect is it prevents you from getting seriously ill. So keep you out of the hospital, keep you from having uh, to get admitted to the intensive care unit and keep you from dying. That's really the, the purpose of the vaccines. Now, some advice from Dr. Fagans, wash your hands and cover your mouth when you sneeze. Stay home if you're sick. And if you test positive for COVID, wear a mask if you're comfortable doing so. Dr. Blatt says people who are immunocompromised should take extra precautions, Kyle. All right, Morella Porter leading us off there. Morella, lots of good information in that story. Dr. Fagans also suggests taking Pax Love it if you test positive for COVID. While it won't prevent you from spreading it, he says it will ease your symptoms and reduce potential for lingering effects of what's known as long COVID. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.